Hello and welcome. Today I'd like to talk about how OverOps can provide net new machine data beyond log files that will help to enhance and extend your Splunk implementation. While log files might provide some value, OverOps collects unique data at the moment of application execution that gives complete insight into an error or an exception. And this granular information has proven to be extremely useful inside of Splunk. There are four primary ways in which users of Splunk can find value in the data that OverOps provides. Let's look at these now. While Splunk is excellent at aggregating application logs so users may search for logged application errors and exceptions, developers are left with incomplete information in log files to know exactly what caused those errors and exceptions to be thrown. OverOps closes this loop with root cause information by simply injecting a small link into the log file before it is even written to disk. Now developers can go directly to the root cause from OverOps to find the exact line of code where the error was thrown with full stack trace and complete vision into the state of each variable and JVM at time of the error, so development teams can reproduce and resolve the error confidently. And with real-time streaming of events and metrics from OverOps directly into Splunk, SREs, DevOps, and IT Ops can gain clarity of overall application health as visualized in Splunk metrics dashboards through key performance indicators, such as the number of unique, uncaught, and swallowed exceptions, and errors that are new or have resurfaced. You can't find those on log files, but now you can with OverOps data inside of Splunk. For the VP of Engineering and Development leads in your organization, access OverOps data inside Splunk to aggregate specific code locations where errors and exceptions are most prevalent in your code base, and correlate error volumes to application throughput for error rate analysis. And help development leads cut through the noise as OverOps can deduplicate billions of logged events into accurate analytics inside Splunk without the need to parse and search through text. For SREs and QA engineers, identify what builds and deployments have introduced new errors into your code, so you can make informed decisions on when to promote code from environment to environment. So to recap on what we saw today, for developers, root cause to any logged error or exception can be easily accessed from a link that is inserted to application logs by OverOps during runtime. And with automated detection, deduplication, and classification of new and resurfaced errors through OverOps, as well as unknown exceptions like uncaught and swallowed exceptions that are never written to log files, Splunk users can quickly cut through the noise to gain unparalleled insight into their application. For Splunk users, this is made possible with real-time streaming of events and metrics from OverOps directly into Splunk. Personas across the SDLC, like DevOps, Site Reliability Engineers, and QA Engineers, can measure the true reliability of their software like never before with Splunk metrics dashboards. And as an added bonus, Splunk users can observe the overall impact of application health and key performance indicators across all their IT services with Splunk's ITSI capabilities. So in conclusion, OverOps can be used in all environments for application visibility. With high performance standards, it's safe to use in production to detect 100% of errors and exceptions, so your users don't have to find them before you do. OverOps can help development teams in early stages too, like development, testing, and staging for continuous feedback loops to build more reliable software. Thank you for listening to this presentation. If you'd like to hear and see more of how OverOps data complements the Splunk experience, head over to overops.com Splunk.